Hey, this is Sherry at the Troll Home Museum in Alliance, Ohio. And looky, 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 I have some more boxes. Let's do Unboxing Tuesday. So I'm Sherry Groom, the Troll Home Museum in Alliance, Ohio. And I am so passionate about collecting trolls that I have over 25,000 pieces of trolls, troll dolls, and troll memorabilia that I share with the world in my Troll Home Museum where we do guided tours and virtual behind the tour scenes. So yes, anywhere in the world that you are, you can tune in via Zoom and book a virtual tour of the Troll Hole Museum with Sherry or Sigrid, the alter ego. Yes, we each have different stories to share and we love talking troll. Packages came in. Some I ordered, some I didn't. Aha! So yes, I do order some off eBay and Walmart. However, my husband says I have enough troll dolls, so don't let him know that I bought a few more trolls. Thanks to all my viewers and guests and people that have heard about the Troll Museum that love their troll dolls, they mail me their trolls. Uh, they contact me sometimes and sometimes spontaneously they send their trolls here because they love their trolls and I love their trolls too. And not only do I save their troll dolls, but I save their stories. And we have some really cool stories about people, their troll doll love and what happened to them. But I'm really excited excited to see this. This is from Washington State, a long way away. It says fragile, pretty lightweight. I do not remember the details because the Troll Hole Museum is part of a growing tourist destination in historic downtown Alliance, East Main Street. So abandoned by the local businesses as they moved to strip malls. This is a manufacturing town. Trolls moved in. Trolls are real live beings. They like to inhabit areas that humans have abandoned. So we bought 14 buildings now creating this tourist destination with wisecracks, comedy escape room. It's all about the jokes, riddles, laughs, and puns, mad dogs, crazy cats, and more to come. More, more businesses that that are fun to come to, make it an all day event. An hour south of Cleveland, just by the Canton, Ohio, where the Football Hall of Fame is, and not very far from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame too. Ooh, what's in here? Hmm, oh my goodness, I can see. She packed this with a little tiny troll greetings. The tiny baby troll and a custom little letter by Redesign the Fine. Ooh, and on this side, a troll a day. Troll a day greetings. Did you catch that? Like trolltastic? Keep trolling? Any of those type of things that you like? Any word that has been trollified? Post it in the comments below. I'll respond. I love that kind of thing. Holiday greetings from the North Troll. There you go. Another pun, North Troll. So I recall now Lindsay was on Instagram and she posted some really, really cool trolls. I think that was a little gift she sent there and this beautiful card. So this little tiny fellow here, I'll probably leave him on the paper there. Blue felt here, sold in Cracker Jacks, gumball machines, and cereal boxers. This one looks pretty unique. Might be added to my Guinness World Record collection of troll dolls. Each troll doll has to be unique in one way. I'm already really, really happy. Shout out to Redesign the Find. So she takes vintage items and resells them on her Etsy shop. Everything is lovely, lovely, lovely. Packaged in some bubble wrap here. Yep, we're gonna need our little sharp instrument to uh, get through the tape, but she's got multiple layers, so I'm not in any danger. So yes, I did purchase these, but don't tell my husband. He's a very good sport. He was the designer. He designed the Troll Museum, and he's been very supportive of me and my passion for trolls. Oh my goodness. Looky, looky, looky. This here is a really rare, rare troll. Never seen one in person before. Chuckalux. And on the back, it's stamped Chuckalux. Always look on your troll dolls for any type of manufacturer markings. Sometimes they'll have the dates on the bottom of their feet. Back of the next are the two most common spaces. So this is a chuckaluck and he's like, like solid rubber here. So he's really substantial. He has a hollow head and this is real Icelandic wool. Came straight off the sheep. It's organic. A little piece of it's been attached right there. And one, two, three, four, five. He has five fingers. He has his big nose, big ears, but he has five fingers. So this troll probably interbred with another species, but definitely it's Santa Claus. What? Santa Claus is a troll. Ha, I've been telling you that. Santa Claus is a troll. Come to our Is Santa a Troll holiday tours, which you can take on virtual. So let's see here. I do remember what I ordered now. If I'm correct, we're gonna see another chuck -a luck Some of these rare trolls, it's really hard to uh, determine what the value is. Aha, a green Santa. I like that. Green Santa with red hair, once again, lovely Icelandic wool. Oh, I can read the back of this one much more clear. Chuck O Luck. No, Chunk. C H U N K. Chunk O Luck. Boy, I got it right there. 
Yes, so we have a green one. Once again, solid rubber. So there's the pair standing next to each other. Probably glass eyes in there. Really solid piece of rubber there. Never seen trolls made in this mold, in this shape, or this type of rubber. So that is truly unique. Probably in the 1960s, between 60, 62, maybe 63. If anybody has any more detailed information, let me know. I'm always on the lookout. I'll look these up on the internet, Google them up, and double check the dates. Chunk of luck, chunk of luck. So trolls do bring you good luck. Look at me. I started out with a mere 2,000 trolls, but because I created a museum for the trolls, I now am over 25,000 pieces of trolls, troll dolls, and troll memorabilia. So I'm a jack of all trolls. I know a little bit about all the trolls, and I love researching and finding more information. And I do know a lot of people through the Troll Collectors Clubs on Facebook that know even more in detail than I do about the troll dolls. So leave your questions below, leave your comments, and please subscribe to our channel. We're trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Okay, here is another prized and rare troll. You see, looks like a little bit of teeth marks. Something chewed on it. Wooden feet on the bottom. Oh, solid wooden, tall, tall dude there. Okay, this is real Icelandic wool, super soft. Looks like he's been around a while. So these were made in Sweden. It says on the bottom of the foot, the original tag. This is Icelandic wool. The original troll dolls, so say the Swedes, with the wood faces and the Icelandic wool. They came in a variety of sizes. So I have another one of these in the museum that was donated from a lady. She bought it in Detroit. Now, typically we shake them, but because these are old, it helps let their hair go wild because it's all about the hair, the hair, beautiful hair on the troll dolls. So this is very, very similar to the troll that I was donated this last summer. That's what brought it to our attention. You can see in the back there where the wool has been attached to the cylinder type piece of wood. So kind of wild and crazy, kind of a bulbous nose as opposed to being longer and skinnier. So I will get the other troll. So keep watching. Look at this. Let's compare and contrast. Very, very similar. This one significantly taller, slightly taller feet are not quite the same. These are more rounded. He's got the long nose, different color design on the eyes there. So two trolls, very similar, but different. But they look like a great couple. Hello, hello. Welcome to the troll hole. We'll get your hair fixed. Then you look as beautiful as I. Okay, it's great to be out of that box. It was really dark in there. So my winning pick, thank you so much. Redesign the fine, Lindsay. It's Trolltastic.